morning welcome back hey everyone yeah um uh, welcome to vlog number six i believe this is and so it's the first week back at um azusa pacific and i've been starting my classes uh i have percussion methods um that one seems interesting um i'll be learning snare drum timpani and marimba or keyboard instruments or mallets and today this afternoon i have symphonic band so that should be interesting we'll see how that goes um but for right now i've already finished breakfast and i have a music history class on thursday the professor just emailed some of the readings for this week so I think I'm going to try to catch up on some of those. Um, I think I'm going to do a little practicing before I leave for rehearsals. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for right now. Um, hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace out. Oh yeah, and just a little side note um, for all you music education majors or you're thinking about doing music education. Um, percussion methods is one of many courses that you'll be taking if you're a music ed major. Um, you have to know, of course, the instruments of band and orchestra. And so with the methods classes, you learn like the really basic like elementary um, techniques to get you going as a music teacher. So at least you know what you're talking about <laughs> when you're um, up there on the podium and you're conducting in like a beginning um, junior high band, which is what I want to do. So at least I know what I'm looking at at the score and if I need to direct the percussion section as to um, what they should be doing and um, just kind of guiding them along. So that's what percussion methods is all about. And um, I thought I'd give you a little insight. I do want to make a video about well, some of the classes um, that you'll be taking as a music major and what it's like to be a music major. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun work, but if you're dedicated and you're passionate about doing music, I think this is the avenue for you. So again, I'll probably discuss this in a different video, but I thought I'd just give you a little insight as to what the percussion methods um, class is all about. So, um, so yeah, there you have it. So 
I thought I'd go ahead and video some of the, <laughs> what I'm doing, like some of my readings that I'm doing. Um, right now it's, he gave us the PDF um, versions of our um, books. Um, right now they're on Amazon and we have to order them, but I think they're on, I think they might be out of stock. So I don't know what's going to happen, but for right now, um, these are the readings that I have. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Oh yeah, this is my cute little pin, my cute little pin case that I got from Target. I really like it a lot. Um, let me just show you like all my pins in here and my highlighters, and my pencils. So yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. Um, yeah, I have a lot of pins and pencils and highlighters and of course erasers in here. So, um, so yeah, I have this. And my little bullet journal that I have with the little um, cat stickers on them. And then I also have my planner, which I put in this cute little, I don't know, cover case thing for planners that actually I found it in my, in my closet. So um, it keeps it protected and keeps it all nice. And it has little pockets over here that you can do. So yeah, and all my stuff from the previous months are in here so that is that so um I guess one of them we have to read is this great <laughs> article or um pdf from a book called music in the baroque era this is a baroque class um that I'm taking a baroque music class or music history class sorry and so I need to get started reading on this um it's not too bad it's about um, 10 to 11 pages in terms of the page, but in terms of the pages in the actual book, it's about, I believe, 20 pages in this chapter, I think. Let me see. Let me click. Oh, it's about 19 pages, so it's not that bad, so that's one. And then... I have to read chapter one from the book that we're supposed to be purchase, purchasing, but for right now, he just gave us the PDF, so I'm going to get started reading on this. Again, it's um, chapter one from History of Baroque Music, which is a di another book that um, I need to purchase, and there's also an anthology that goes with this book, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, of course, I have my binder and my little... <laughs> I have so many planners. Um, this is what I use to keep track of what I need to do in terms of um, time management. This is really helpful. Um, this is at a glance and it's a, what is this? It says academic planner, but it's more of a time planner type thing. I like it because it has this really big calendar and you can put all your due dates for projects and assignments in here but then you also have these time slots let me get a close-up and then you can block off time on what you you know what your classes are if you need to get ready um, travel time what your classes are and then you can see the blocks of time that you're spending on each thing um, let me see if I can find an example for you. Um, of course, you know, here, here it is when I fill in all my little events and everything on this one. Um, for example, um, this one's pretty good. Like, I put in, like, practice times and blocks. Um, then I have, like, my classes. Like, if I'm doing woodwind ensemble, um, I have a music research class. I block that off. Um... Maybe I put a get ready, which is like breakfast and just getting ready and prepared to go practice time, bus schedules, and then I can always be prepared and see um, what I need to do in terms of time management. So I thought this was pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Um, if you like this idea, give it a thumbs up. I don't know. <laughs> it works for me. Um, I try to put like my workout times in here. I don't know. Um, but yeah, whatever works for you, you can use it. So you can see, you can use study times in here, block it off. So yeah, I thought I'd share this with you. Maybe you 
want to use it with your um when you're in school and you need to keep your time management skills up you can use this out of bunch so I thought this was pretty cool but for now I'm gonna get started on reading these great chapters of music music in the Baroque era and I'll see you guys in a little bit peace out